What's going on guys? It is time once again for the best reptile expo in the world. It is now time for the October 2022 Tinley Park Reptile Expo here uh, in, in Tinley Park. There are going to be so many reptiles, vendors, amphibians, lizards, snakes. There is so much to see at this expo. There is a reason why this is my favorite expo in the world. And I'm also going to dole out a whole new batch of Rattle On Awards. I'm Dave Kaufman and these are my reptile adventures. Jeremy? Yes. How are you doing? Doing well. How are you, Dave? How are you enjoying Timley? It's doing great. Yeah. I have no voice. You have so no voice. Awesome. What happened to your voice? It's, I lost it. Cusco stole it from me. Cusco? Yeah. Cusco. 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 Stole. <laughs> Quit stealing voices. I'm not stealing nothing. <laughs> he stole it. All right, you guys, so before we take our tour of the October 2022 uh, Tindley Park Reptile Expo, I'm going to show you guys what I have on my table. So I had a really good year with ball pythons this year, and these are some of the select ones that I chose to bring here to Tinley. A couple of them have already sold, which is really awesome, but check this out. Orange Dream Banana Pides I produced this year. Tons of really cool Orange Dream Pides, just regular pides if you really want a really awesome pet snake but don't want to spend a ton of money can't go wrong with a pied i produced this really awesome lavender pied look at that man i should really hold her back and i also produced this pastel clown pied really should hold her back too orange dream banana pieds man these guys are so cool and then a female orange dream banana pied right there man all the snakes that i produce every single year i just want to hold them all back but you can't hold them all back but i've got dave merch rattle on merch over here and then i got my big banner over here be sure to check out my reptile adventures channel and my brand new strange adventures channel i'm having a blast with this brand new channel over here be sure to check it out over here i've got all my novels and all my movies and what is left of our t-shirts man we sold out of t-shirts got a little swag over here but i'll tell you one of the funnest things about coming to tinley is all the people that come up to me and want to show me what they got at the show i love meeting new people here at the show so when you see me at the show be sure to come up and say hi and show me what you got absolutely love seeing people show off their brand new reptiles all right so what's your name james james what did you get here i got a green tree python here oh that's that is just I awesome I, I really wish that they stayed yellow like that as adults, yeah. but he's going to green up on you pretty soon, but man, that is such a good looking snake. Is that your first one? It is my first one. Nice. What do you keep all the ways? Uh, I've got ball pythons, I've got milk snakes, we've got blue tongue skinks, geckos. you got a whole menagerie. We've got a whole zoo at home. So what's your name? Celestial. Uh, that is a very cool name. Thank I love so it. All right. So what did you get? I got, oh, he kind of went under a little bit, but well, I Well, let's pop the top off and take a look. Ocean. We got a mystic potion you know yes. it's so funny these used to be like the coolest ball pythons and then you don't kind of see them anymore but i'm so there he I is know. he's beautiful wow i don't know what i'm gonna name him yet though can i make a suggestion yes name him dave oh no <laughs> I, I will name him dave ah, i love will it name him dave. love it so this is dave all right, so you've question. got a cool name. Now your snake has yes. a cool name. Yes. All right, so you remember these two rock stars from the last Tinley video. You guys, look at you. I mean, you are just like a rock star over here. I love yeah. this look. So what do you got? I, um, so we bought one of your snakes yesterday. We, we donated it and we got it back. That is epic. So you bought one of my snakes yesterday to donate to the yeah. U.S. Ark Auction, and you won it at the U.S. Ark Auction. And we yeah. named it Little Dave. And you named it Little Dave. I love it. I cannot imagine that snake going to a better home than with you guys. That is a really cool orange green pie. And we have 
a snake at home who is het for pie. So nice. So like grow both of them that is up. a double triple score. Yeah. That's awesome. So what is your name? I'm Love. Your love. Is that your own personal brand right there for your name? <laughs> love it. All right, so what did you get here? I got a crested gecko. Whoa. Now, is this your first crested gecko? Yeah, I have a bearded dragon at home, though. He's from Se uh, Sacred Geckos and Exotics. Very cool. Those are good people to buy from. Look at his head. He's got a really cool pattern on his head. Is that why you picked him out? Yeah, we, uh, we also think he's really friendly. Wow, that is a great looking crested gecko. Look at how pretty he is. And that is a really cool crested gecko. You know why? why? Because it's your first. And you know what did I predict? Why? I bet you're gonna get 200 of them by the time that Tinley rolls around next year. What do you think? <laughs> Maybe, probably not though. Probably not. Uh, okay, uh, uh, 50? <laughs> Tw 25? Maybe. Okay, all right, good. Hello, Tyler. Uh, <clears throat> hello, Tyler. Hi, what's your name? Uh, Tyler. Your name's Tyler too? Yeah. Are you a fan? Yeah. Do you want, do you want my autograph? Yeah. Okay. Sweet. <laughs> All right, guys, so it is time to give out the October 2022 Tinley Park NARBC Rattle On Awards, and we are gonna get into that right after this. Zilla has everything you need for your reptile pets, from caging to lighting and everything in between. To see their entire catalog and find out where you can get Zilla products near you, visit ZillaRules.com. All right, guys, so we are gonna do a brand new category here. We are now going to give the Rattle On Awards for the best amphibian here, and to bring on a guest judge, we are bringing on Mike Titula. Woo! And you have found like one of the coolest amphibians at this entire expo. What did you find? We're at Tree Frog Connections, and this is the Philomedusa bicolor. Otherwise known as the giant waxy monkey tree frog. One of my favorites, great pick. Now, this is the Guyana locale. Yes. And so when I was in Peru, we saw these all over the place in Peru. And one of the things that I love about these frogs is that they've got a call that sounds like a laugh. And I don't know, I, I like things that are funny and I like frogs that have funny calls. This is an awesome pick. Tell me a little bit more about it. These guys are really cool. They're, fun. They're found very high up in the canopies and they secrete a wax, hence the waxy monkey tree frog, to use as somewhat of a sunscreen. These guys basically coat themselves with it and then sit up top in the canopy. That's what allows them to kind of be a little bit more dry than a lot of frogs. Most tree frogs and things you find under leaves, these guys you find right out in the middle of the sunshine. Exactly, and that wax is like Think of it as a natural sunscreen. But, and that is where the name Waxy Monkey Tree Frog comes from because of that waxy secretion. This is a great pick. And man, just take a look at him. They are so big, so green, so colorful, so awesome. But man, this is a great pick for the very first Rattle On Award for the best amphibian. And I can definitely see, Mike, why this is your pick for the October 2022 NARBC Tinley Park Rattle On Award for the best amphibian here. So guys, I've always said that if you want to get known in the reptile world, 
pick a snake, pick a lizard, pick a gene within snakes, lizards, turtles, whatever you're interested in, but pick a gene and work with that gene and get known for working with that gene. And that's one of the ways that you can really make a name for yourself in the reptile world. So when it comes time to give out the Rattle On Award for the best new breeder, I found somebody who has really paid his dues and is really making a name for himself. This is Zach Schrader from Zach Schrader Reptiles. Now, we were talking, this is your very first time vending Tinley, but you've been breeding for what, 10 years now? Yeah, roughly. Roughly um, 10 years. Took a little break in between, but yeah, uh, first clutch was 2012. So 2012, yeah. okay, so, so. About 10 years. So 10 years to grow your collection, to grow your business, to vend your first tin lead. This yeah. is awesome. Yeah. You really have some awesome stuff here. Well, thank you. This guy, of course, caught my eye. We gotta yeah. check this guy out. Yeah, so he, uh, I acquired his parents from Justin um, as an, an exanthic line that popped up in his collection. Yep. Bred, bred him to a um, yellow belly who was pos head at the time and she obviously proved out head exanthic. Good. And so this is this is the offspring. Um, he's a beautiful animal. I got five eggs out of the clutch and they were all exanthic pies. So, wow. so now this isn't just an exanthic pied though. You correct. got something else going on in there. Correct. So I mean you can tell the head kind of resembles like the orange dream with the line but I'm thinking the male is probably Gene X. So this possibly could be the Gene X Xanthic Pied, the Gene X Yellow Belly Xanthic Pied. Wow, all right, so that is an amazing snake. And then, now, we got one over here yep. that is just as amazing. Pastel Desert Ghost. That's right, that goes. You know, a lot of people are working with that Desert Ghost. It's a really hot gene right now. Yeah. And man, when you add tristripe and pastel to it, look at this thing, let's take this guy out. Yeah. Look at that, that thing glows in the dark. But you can definitely see the pastel influence. You can definitely see the desert ghost influence in there. And of course, the tri-stripe in there. Wow. So, so it's interesting. I've got a sibling to this um, that I know is a super pastel. And she's a lot lighter than this than this one here. So I don't know if the tri-stripe is keeping the, the brightness and the, you know, the, the yellow. So this one is a GHI fire tri-stripe. This one is a GHI Mojave Tri-Stripe, and GHI Mojave is one of my favorite combos, but look what happens when you add that one gene of Tri-Stripe to it. Man, it really makes that pattern just come alive. Look at that. That is really amazing. And then Fire, of course, lightens it all up, yeah, I mean, but I would love to see Fire GHI Mojave one of these days. Yeah, personally, I mean, I, I love the pixelation in this guy. I think that's... You know, obviously with the striping, there's limitations to, to what you can do, right? But yeah. when you when you keep that stripe and then you get the entire side pattern that's all broken up, and you can add all kinds of stuff to Man, that, Man, right? that is an amazing project. So are you going to kind of concentrate on tri-stripe stuff? Yeah, that's that's been a, a pretty big focus of mine for the last several years. That's um, awesome because I've always said if you want to get known in this industry, you pick a gene and you get known for working with that exactly, gene. Exactly, exactly. And that's, that's what I've talked about. I mean, I still... I still like the clown stuff, I still like yep. the desert ghost stuff, I like the pides, but I don't want to have a little bit of everything. I want to And I that's wanna, the way to I do it. I want to hone in on the tri-stripe and really explore all the angles, come out with a lot of worlds first, a lot of fun, exciting stuff. I mean, I I can't say how many people have come by the table today like, "Oh my we haven't seen this many tri-stripes in the same place." And that's you what know? you're going to get known for and that's how to do it. You're doing it right. Zach, it is great talking with you. And 10 years to get to your first table at Tinley. This is why I give the Rattle On Awards for the best new breeder to people like you who are doing it right. And you're climbing that ladder and you're paid your dues and here you are, this is awesome. I appreciate it, Dave. Yeah, it's uh, it, an event like this, it's not something you wanna go on and, and, and show up in half half fast. You exactly. Know? You you want to put your best foot forward. Exactly. You want, to, you want to bring the best stuff that you possibly can. You want can. fireworks on your very first Tinley yeah. and you got them. And so you can definitely see why Zach Schrader Reptiles is my pick for the October 2022 Tinley Park NARBC Rattle On Awards for the best new breeder.
right guys, so it is now time for the best lizard category, and this time, I'm gonna let you guys pick the winner. So in a couple of days, check that community tab on my channel here, and I'm going to pick out three lizard contestants, and I'm gonna put a poll on my community tab and let you guys vote for this year's winner for the best lizard here, and we are gonna start with contestant number one. All right guys, so contestant number one for the Rattle On Award for the best lizard here, is this beauty. This isn't just an albino green iguana, this is a snow green iguana. And so what makes snow is when you have an albino gene mixed with an azanthic gene. And so albino removes all black pigment, azanthic or anatheristic removes all yellow and red pigment. And what you're left with is a bleach white green iguana. And these guys aren't really all that common. We see a xanthic green iguanas a lot, they're the blue ones, and we see albinos a lot, and then we see crimson albinos, which are red albinos. There are a lot of morphs of green iguanas coming up, but to see one that has all those visual genetics in one that creates a bleach white snow green iguana, that's why this is number one on the contestants for the October 2022 Rattle On Awards for the best lizard here. All right, so contestant number two, you all know this guy. Man, you know, you produce some of the most amazing monitors. Love coming over to your place and doing videos with you. We just have so much fun absolutely, doing it. Absolutely, man. I mean, they're the like most brothers fun from videos. That is absolutely correct. But contestant number two is found right here in your hand. Tell me all about this amazing monitor. This is a banded Java sulfur monitor, uh, Varanus bivitatis from Java. And you can see how beautifully heavily banded this is. This is almost um, perfect banding. So Absolutely. This is, this is one of my prize hatchlings for this year. And it's just a stunning animal. And it's only going to get better with age. And it, you can see how nice it is now. And uh, very calm and tame all my monitors are. We work with them right out of the egg. Um, and yeah, I've been working a while to get this here. And there it is. Wow. Okay, so now... What is this going to look like in about three years? You want to see? Yes, I do. Here is, that's not the mom. That's another female that I have waiting on a clutch or two from her to hatch. And this animal here will look as good as that. Wow. So, so it's going to get more and more yellow, more bright. Yep. And the banding will get darker. And it's just an amazing, amazing animal. Wow. All right, guys. So this is contestant number two. Be sure to check that community tab in a couple of days and vote. Is it going to be one of the other contestants or is it going to be this amazing Java banded sulfur monitor? All right, guys. So contestant number three is found right here at Leapin' Leechies. And it's not a lychee. It's this guy. Take a look at this blue Cuban giant anole. Man, these are some of the most beautiful lizards out there, and I really believe that these are gonna be the next big thing in lizards. They're colorful, they're personable, they're easy to take care of, they're easy to breed, and if you guys recall, I was at Ron St. Pierre's place a while ago and did a video on these guys, and that was maybe a year ago, and I still believe that these are gonna be the next big thing in lizards, but just look at how beautiful and blue these guys are. They're basically chameleons in a null form, but look at this, he is just chilling out on my hand and you can definitely see those blues coming out, those greens coming out, those yellows coming out. This is one gorgeous lizard. So again guys, community tab in a couple of days, don't forget to vote for your pick for the October 2022 NARBC Rattle On Awards for the best lizard here. Is it gonna be this guy right here? Is it going to be the snow iguana? Or is it gonna be that really awesome sulfur monitor? Ha ha ha, nice try buddy. Don't forget to vote. All right, guys, so when it comes to the Rattle On Award for the best snake here, I am bringing on a guest judge, Mr. Brian Cusco. At your service. Yes, indeed. Now, you found something that is both unique and maybe a little controversial here for the best snake. We're going to go check that out right over at Sal Daddy Retex. All right, let's go. All right, so we have arrived at Sal Daddy Retex. Man, Cell Daddy always has some amazing retics, doesn't he? That's true. He does. And I, I want to say this. I know this is supposed to be the best snake at the show, and I don't want to take away from my selection at all, but I do want to throw in the caveat. Caveat. That I have been very incrementally busy. I don't know if that even makes any sense, but it's true. It does not. 
<laughs> I have hardly gotten a chance to see a lot of the animals at the show. It's not possible for me ever at a show to see all the animals there. But of the animals that I did see, this is the coolest snake. Let's see at it. The show. All right. Oh my God! Take a look at this. All right, tell us all about this snake, Brian. <laughs> this is a snake. Uh huh. It is a jungle. Retic, yeah, so I know it's a retic. <laughs> it's a jungle retic. Yeah, so a jungle retic is 25% berm and 75% reticulated python. Thank you, Nick Blauner, for making sure that I know what I'm talking about. Interesting. Um, to be fair, there was another snake that was over here too. There was a GHI, or not GHI, oh my goodness. Are you tired? Are you, are you doing all right? You, you, you want to take a break and continue or you want to... Uh -huh. <laughs> I was say all right, so uh -huh. this is <laughs> <laughs> this is a jungle retic, which is a 25% Burmese python, 75% retic. I mean, this is so unique and so interesting. I mean, look at that pattern. Really, you can't really even see a berm influence in this, but what berm influence is in this? Look what it does to that pattern. And I also kind of picked this snake because A, it's one of the few snakes I saw at the show, and B, I thought that it would, uh, you know, drive you a little crazy. It's, people... it's, it's driving me crazy. But yeah, I mean, you know, some people really aren't good on the hybrids, right. but when you got a snake like this, and you've got a reputable breeder that is going to be honest with what you got, well... That was also it. You know, it's like I, I I couldn't deny the fact that this is the snake that I was walking by and it just kind of stopped me. I was like, what is that? Exactly right. And that is exactly what we look for in the Rattle On Awards. That is a really good looking snake and a really good looking pick. This may be the most unique snake here. So since this is the most unique snake I've seen here, this is the winner of the Rattle On Awards for the October 2022 Tinley Park Best Snake at Show Award. You know, I'll tell you guys, the worst thing about Tinley is when it's over. And it is, everybody's packing up, everybody's saying their goodbyes, everybody's hitting the road. But I'll tell you, you know, I start looking forward to October Tinley from right now all the way through the year until I get to come down here again. If you've never been to an October Tinley or even a March Tinley or any of the NARBC shows, you've got to put it on your calendar to get here to Tinley Park or St. Louis or Arlington or Schaumburg for an NARBC Reptile Expo. You really have to come to one of these shows. They are the most amazing shows in the world and I'm not just being biased because I am a longtime sponsor of this show and proudly so. This really is the most awesome show. So anyway guys, keep an eye out for that community tab coming soon and be sure to vote for your pick for the October 2022 Tinley Park NARBC Rattle On Award for the Best Lizard. That's coming to the community tab soon. Keep an eye out for it and cast your vote. And guys, real quick shout out and a thank you to all my Patreon supporters. And as always, thanks for watching. And until the next reptile adventure, love the planet, feed your reptile obsession, and rattle on. <laughs>